Hello, I'm Chad Spearman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. The weekly USDA Choice Select price spread has been stuck between $11 and $12 per hundredweight over the last four weeks. The spread typically has a strong seasonal pattern with lows in late winter and late summer and corresponding highs in the spring and fall. The sideways spring pattern is not typical for the Choice Select spread seasonal. The weekly Choice Select spread reached its winter lows around $2 per hundredweight in early 2014 and had an aggressive early spring rally, adding nearly $7 in two weeks. However, it took an additional four weeks to add $3 to the spread, reaching a spring high of $11.75 on the week ending May 10th. A widening choice select spread in the spring comes from two factors, increasing wholesale demand for choice steaks before grilling season and increasing select beef supplies. Since March, weekly wholesale demand for choice middle meats is up 12% compared to a year ago. During that time, choice middle meat prices were up 14% and supplies increased 0.4% due to increasing choice quality grade. The challenge is choice middle meat demand has failed to revisit early year highs as buyers pushed back on higher beef prices after the early year increases. Select supplies that are considerably lower than a year ago have also pressured the choice select spread. Year to date, select production is down 9.4% compared to last year, and over the last three weeks it is down 8%. The select supply declines relative to last year have kept select cutout values more elevated than typical. The choice select spread will struggle to revisit last year's spring highs above $18 per hundredweight. Summer lows around $5 per hundredweight are possible again this year, and fall highs could reach more than $15 with favorable demand for early holiday prime rib. The fed cattle market was steady to mostly $1 lower on a live basis this week. In the south, trade occurred at $143, while sales in the north were primarily from $143 to $145 on a live basis and $230 to $232 on a dress basis. Trade volumes increased as packers procured for a full slaughter schedule next week. Box beef traded modestly higher this week following what was reported as good clearance over the holiday weekend. The resulting fill-in buying and lighter kill schedule this week supported beef prices. Feeder cattle values were primarily steady this week, while calves were steady to as much as $5 higher. Large rains in the Southern Plains last weekend kept demand for cattle eligible for turnout very strong amid lighter offerings. Those areas that received rain saw the full price advance on lighter weight cattle. Slaughter cow prices were steady for the week. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.